In this video of WPF, we are going to discuss about the styles. As the name is quite similar, if you have any relevance with the web development, you may have heard about the style sheets. So here, styles I go are going to do a similar task as of our style sheets in web application. So basically what this styles is all about is the collection of those properties that we want to set at the runtime or at the compilation time in order to make the changes in the default appearance of the controls. So it's a collection of property values that can be applied to the elements or element means the uh, controls which are visible onto your windows during the execution time. Is used to format, is used for the formatting of the control. Formatting means if you want to change the default appearance of a particular control, maybe in a particular uh, software you are working with, you want to put the blue background text box. All right, just an example. So you can simply create a style for a text box and then you can reuse that. You don't have to add some text on the markups again and again or you don't have to go to the properties of each text box to do the changes. You can simply reuse that within the application with the help of the uh, as you can put it as the uh, reusable resource into your current application. Gives a rich look to the regular controls without code repetition. As I said, without code repetition means you don't have to put the changes every time in the XAML. So let's see a practical implementation of these styles and see how can we set it as a resource. So as far as the implementation of style is concerned, I will create these styles for the individual controls. So let's take any sample control from the toolbox. And from here, let's drag a button out here. All right, I'm, I'm just putting some drag and drop for the height and width. All right, and now to create the style for this particular button, what I'm going to do is I will jump to XAML where I'm preparing the style for the different controls. So let's come to the XAML part. And now here in XAML, I will start doing the required changes. So basically what will I do is I will start making these styles as the window resources so that we will be able to reuse that in at least inside this particular form. So what will I do? I will create the tag called window.resources. We have already covered the resources. All right. And out here we will start putting the style. So as soon as we'll put the style tag inside it, the first question which comes is for which particular type of control I'm going to put it. Because when I will manipulate the appearance inside this style tag, it will all about be the properties of a specific control. So first of all, I will have to tell like which particular control I'm targeting here. So the property target type will take some control name. Like here, I told it like I'm going to change the style of a button. That means here is a button and now inside this style, I will be changing some of the properties of it. So how will I do that? Here inside it to set the individual property, I will take the setter tag. All right. And inside the setter, I will use the attribute called property where you will be able to see the different properties. These all properties are for the button because I have chosen the target type as button. So let's keep it simple. Let's take the background as the property and then the value. All right. So in the value, let's put orange. So here, as soon as I'll do that, let's come to the design. And here you can see my button is changed to orange. All right. So let's see both the windows all together. All right. Now, as here, you can see, I just took a single button and by default, as soon as I created this style for the button, this button got changed. Similarly, if I will add another button, it will also be taking the same default layout, which I have set for the buttons. That is the background color orange. Now, you can also manipulate multiple properties at a time by putting multiple setters. So let's take another property like foreground. That is the font color. All right. And I'll change the value to green. 
So you can see it is containing the green color text. All right. Similarly, setter property font weight value extra bold. All right. Let's keep it till bold. I guess that will be fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So this is about the uh, different properties inside the setter. All right. So as you already seen, like as soon as we'll keep adding the button, the all the button will be containing the same style. But there is a chance, like I don't want to create all the buttons in the same way. Maybe this is my default appearance of the button, but maybe in some particular time, I want some different type of buttons. So for that, what I'll do, this is the implicit way of putting these styles. So if I want to make any changes, I will create the key for each style. All right. If I don't want to make it uh, default. All right. So what I'll do here, I'll say cancel button. That, that's just a name. And here I'll put a key that is default button. All right. So what will I do here? I will change the color to red. All right. And we'll change the font color to white. So now how will I be able to apply this particular style here? So rather than doing it by default, now I will have to take of take care of the style attribute out here. And inside again, I will apply this particular style as the static resource. And what is the name of the static resource? If you want to go for the default button, you will go for the default button. Similarly, if you want to make it as a, a for the cancel button, again, static resource, I will choose cancel button. So now here it's pretty clear, like how you can go for the multiple styles for the same or for the different control. If you will not specify the keys, then in that particular case, it will be the default one for that control. But if you are creating multiple styles for the same button, you will have to specify the keys. Or if you don't want any particular style to be applied on a button, again, you will have to pass a key to make it explicit style. All right. So as I said, like I have created this inside the Windows resource so that I will be able to make the style as the reusable concept here. Similarly, if you want to reuse this style for the whole application, what will I do? I will just cut it from here. I'll come to Solution Explorer. I'll put the same styles inside the app.xaml and out here, I'll just paste it. Let's come back to the window and here you can see the styles are back. All right. So now all the windows of your application may use the, these styles. Similarly, you can do one more thing. Like if you want to create this style for the specific control, uh, which is not much required or not much appreciated, but still, if you want to do that, there is an option for that also. So how will I do that? Because uh, so what will I do? I will put a button dot style. And inside I'll put style target type button. All right. And then after you can start putting any particular style as we were doing. Let's say setter property background value blue. So here, this is the button which I just added and you can see it is of blue color. All right. But this, as I said, this is not much appreciated style of doing that because here there is no factor of reusability. And when we work in a big applications, we go for the reusable concept, but still there is an option so that if you have some specific control so that uh, you can give a specific style to that particular control. So this is how you can start putting these styles in your WPF application.